it's all these other things. Again, everybody, good morning. Thank you so much for watching News Now from Fox. We're preparing to have a live hit with Fox 29 Philadelphia, Steve Keeley, trying to work out a few audio issues, and we'll be right with you. Walgreens around the state are offering the vaccine. 730 Publix pharmacies are offering the vaccine. 157 CVS pharmacies, 119 Walmart and Sam's Club, and then 43 Winn-Dixie. So in Volusia, we have 22 Publix. All right, everybody, we're going to head on out to Lakewood, New Jersey right now, where Fox 29 Philadelphia Steve Keeley is this morning to talk to us about a news alert we have going on. It appears there's been a pretty serious fire out there. Good morning, Steve. How are you doing and what's the situation? Yeah, the difference between this uh, brush fire or wildfire than all the others you usually see, at least in New Jersey, are uh, that this one happened in a densely populated area close to the Jersey Shore. Uh, but this is where population has moved right up until the edge of the Pine Barrens. You can see that's where the fire went to. Uh, this fire burned nearly 200 acres that we know of, and you can see it went right up and burned down the back fences, the boats, the sheds, uh, the pool houses, uh, but some of the houses saved here. We saw one house uninhabitable, uh, but several houses have damaged, but the people are still in them, fortunately, and that just shows the great work of the firefighters who rushed out here in the part where we're walking through right now, where you see smoking embers still smoldering the morning after. This has been bulldozed away, and they have smothered this fire out, getting rid of anything that was on fire, and just piling sand, which is really underneath all the pine needles that had dried up and piled up for years here, and that was the problem. You have the worst possible weather conditions. The National Weather Service here in New Jersey warned about this possibility early Sunday morning, and they said the slightest spark could really start a brush fire because it hadn't rained here since March 1st. It hadn't been a fire here for decades, and that meant all the trees and brush and dead leaves and branches were just sitting on the ground. And then you had high winds gusting up to 40-some miles an hour, all of it contributing to the possibility of a wildfire happening, and that's exactly what happened here and in other spots. But this was the worst spot. And again, when you have big box stores like Costco and a Lowe's catching fire because the the embers were building up and blowing up into the sky and then landing onto their rooftops. That shows you how close the fire was to civilization here in New Jersey. So, Regina, this could have been way worse. We're told one firefighter was hurt, but no citizens hurt, nobody else hurt. And they had to close the Garden State Parkway, one of the major tolls north and south between, say, the Atlantic City area all the way up to New York City. And that shut down because the fire jumped all the lanes of that highway and there's a grassy median in between with woods as well so it could have been a lot worse than it was great work by a big team of firefighters calling it big teamwork uh, for everybody chipping in and getting this fire contained and under control and keeping everybody who lived near so close to it uh, out of harm's way regina yeah absolutely steve you do see the fire line there just how close it got to those houses so it was bad but it certainly could have been worse so a little bit of good news there out of Lakewood, New Jersey this morning. Thank you so much for joining us.